With the new FCC Mobile Speed Test app, you can check the performance of your wireless connection and dispute the mobile coverage providers have reported on the national broadband map. After you download the ad-free FCC Mobile Speed Test app from your app store and install it, open the app. The app will ask for permission to access your location, which is important to support challenges to mobile coverage. Choose if you want to run a single test or a repeated test, and then pick from the three types of speed tests. To dispute or challenge the coverage or speed reported by your mobile provider, choose the challenge test option. Crowdsource tests are also shared with the FCC and may help verify and improve the accuracy of the national broadband map. If you do not want to enter your contact information or share it with the FCC or your provider, choose the Quick Check Speed Test. To run a Quick Check Speed Test, tap Single Test, then Quick Check. Quick Check tests can be run indoors or over Wi-Fi networks and they will not challenge or otherwise impact provider coverage shown on the map. Tap OK. Select the indoor, outdoor, or the in-vehicle option, depending on where you are. On the next screen, wait while the test runs. The test results will display on your screen. You can tap the button to run the test again or run a challenge test. You can also go back to the home screen and run a different type of test. Here's how to run a challenge test. On the home screen, select Single Test, then tap Challenge, followed by Start Test. The first time you run the test, you will need to enter your first name, last name, and email address. You will also need to provide the phone number of the mobile device. This information is required by FCC rules when submitting challenge tests. If you want more information about how your data will be stored, used, and protected, tap the Privacy Policy link. You will need to confirm a few things. First, that you agree to the policy. Second, that your provided information is correct. Third, that your mobile data is turned on with no restrictions set for the connection type and airplane mode is off. Fourth, that you are the subscriber or authorized user of the provider being challenged and that the speed test app is working normally. And fifth, that you allow the provider you are challenging to share certain data with the FCC as part of the challenge response. Also, please be sure to check that you entered a valid email address and your 10-digit phone number. Select the outdoor or the in-vehicle option, depending on where you are, and tap Continue. Note that challenge speed tests may not be conducted indoors. Test results are automatically submitted to the FCC when the test is finished. You can tap Challenge again to submit another test. You can find the results of all your tests by tapping on History at the bottom of the screen. To run a crowdsource test, you must provide only your full name and email address before choosing where you are running the test. You can also run a crowdsource test on a Wi-Fi network. For more information on how these test results will be aggregated to challenge mobile coverage, tap on Settings at the bottom right of the screen, then select About in the menu options. If your speed test results contribute to a challenge that is sent to a provider, you will receive email updates on its status. To run multiple tests back-to-back, -back, you can use the Repeated Test option. This hands-free testing option allows you to run tests while driving along a route you frequently travel, such as your daily commute, or while walking around outdoors. You can choose the number of tests and how far apart you want the tests to run. Tests will continue to run automatically for up to four hours. You can stop the repeated tests during the break between test cycles. Worried about using too much data on speed testing? You can easily restrict how much data the app is using by going to the Settings tab at the bottom of the screen. You can set a data usage cap and the day of the month when it will reset. The app will notify you when 75% of the cap is reached. Android users can configure the app to run scheduled crowdsource tests seamlessly in the background on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Background tests offer a more precise representation of mobile network performance because they are randomly distributed across different timeframes and locations. 
You can also log into the national broadband map to see information about the challenge tests you take with the app. These speed test results will help improve the map and ensure funding for mobile networks is directed to areas that need it most.